You guys thought I wasn't gonna come in here and just murder your civilians. I'm a dragon. What did you think was gonna happen? Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Lost on Steam. We're back, we're just doing it. Three more games you never heard of. Two of these are flying games. One involves a dragon and one's a fucking hiking game. I'm very excited for our list of games today, so we're not gonna waste any more time. Let's just do it. All right, first up, buckle up. Here we go, we got a dragon game for you. This is called El Marion Dragon Time. Came out March 12, 2020. Has very few reviews, less than 20. You can pick it up for about uh, 10 bucks right now. We're gonna get started. I know you get to burn shit. That's kind of my only interest here. It's very superficial. I've always wanted to play a dragon burning stuff. I believe that is what we do. There we go. I'm very excited already. Listen, if you're gonna make a game in Unity, and you're not going to allow me to save my options. Collect crystals? No, this is not a crystal collecting game. This is a burn your house down game. I'm sorry about that. I. Holy shit, that's so loud. Oh my god. Uh, okay. That cinema scene played in my ear eardrums at about the... Uh, volume level that you would probably pretty much expect that a spaceship would launch at. If I had not turned my volume down uh, before, I think I would actually be deaf right now. Oh, here we go. You know, it's all forgiven. I'm about to burn the fucking... Wait, do I have a crosshair? It's real hard to aim this. I just realized without a crosshair. Wait, someone's already burning it. Well, that's fine. Let me just help. What's our goal here? Oh, there. I'm supposed to be shooting at little skeletons. Hi. Hey, how's it going? It's hard to find out something here. I need to find a big city and find out the general situation. Okay, I killed the skeletons. It's actually incredibly difficult to see. And because it was made in Unity, there's not a single graphic option that I can use. How do I? Oh, can I? Oh, I just like ate them. Oh, left click. Okay, even though there's no animation, left click is actually murdering these skeletons. Yeah, it's just munching on them. Munch, munch, munch the bones. God, I love games that I just can't see fuck all. Don't you guys really enjoy games that you literally can't see anything in? This game will run you $10. That's the amazing part, is that this game costs $10. What am I doing? Find a big city. Oh, is someone shooting arrows? Oh, whoa, whoa! Excuse you. Hold on. I gotta murder an archer, apparently. Oh, an archer skeleton just munch on him. Can you guys fucking knock it off? Was it worth it? Do you feel like you got what you came for? Click on a crystal. Oh, X. Uh, okay, so listen, I'm not, not gonna lie to you guys. This is not a great opening for today's Lost on Steam. We're just gonna, yeah, yeah, just turn around, bite. Fight this guy, throw fireballs, earn some EXP. Oh, look at that, I found a big city. And so you always know Unity game because it, it pops up this dialogue box of like the resolution you wanna run the game in. And you already know, like as soon as you see that, you're like, oh, okay, it's Unity game, we're doing this now. And the options in the game never save in Unity. It often runs uncapped frame rates. So like it tries to just run at like a thousand frames a second, your computer just well, mine at least tanks, especially when I'm trying to record. Eat fire, dwarf! Oh. Yes! Yes! You guys thought I wasn't gonna come in here and just murder your civilians. I'm a dragon! What did you think was gonna happen? You're a, you're a fan, uh-oh, uh oh You're a fancy kingdom and I'm a dragon. I don't know how I got my health back. I'm pretty sure I should be dead, actually. Yeah! Yeah, get munched on. Get munched on. Get munched on. But let's go eat some of these easier targets here, like the townspeople, who have nothing to do with this crisis. They're not a part of this. They didn't start the rebellion. They were just trying to live their lives, but you know what? They're gonna pay the consequences. Oh, we did a sweet barrel roll. Just, yeah, more fireballs probably. There we go, got them, eat them, eat them, eat them, eat them. Okay, the tree is really kind of in my way here as far as the camera goes. Got them. These guys, they're not at all worried, which is amazing. Oh, you wanna, you wanna battle? Uh-oh, uh-oh, too many, okay. Okay, where's like the, 
Why can't, why can't I set anything on fire for real? Oh, this is awful. Can I even die? Just eat him. Eat him. Eat the dragon. Wait. Oh. I finally died. Um, when you die, you see a, a mural of, of skeletons. Okay. Uh, well, I just don't feel like we need to really check out this game anymore. I feel like we have a real good idea of what kind of game you should expect should you decide to pick this one up. My recommendation, probably don't pick this one up. But, you know, if you really like dragons, really into dragons, you have like a dragon necklace, some dragon earrings, those little dragon statues, and a, and a glass case where you keep all the, your your little, uh, all your little porcelain statues, your little babies, and you kiss them at night. Mm -hmm. Maybe like, you know, maybe you'll pick up the dragon game. Anyway, we're gonna move on. Next game. All right, next up we have a game called A Glider's Journey. It came out September 27th, 2019. Currently less than 20 reviews. You can pick this game up for $5. $5, we're gonna go ahead and start. This is another flying game. It appears to have inverted mouse controls. But you know what? I'm already having more fun than I did in the dragon game. Can I, can we not? actually do inverted maybe maybe inverted was the right choice oh no we're fine okay we're not fine i really actually would rather use a controller can i hold on no problem no problem i just you know, got my got my controller there okay we're still inverted because i'm an idiot okay here we go here we go line it up Hit the, uh, hit the upvote arrow. There we go. There we go. Okay, this is actually relatively difficult to control for a first timer. Look at that realistic water. Look at the... Ooh, you got real close. Just wanted to show you the realistic water. Oh, God. Uh, if you are prone to motion sickness, I might choose to not watch this. I might choose to skip this one. Because I'm going to be not great at flying is the end of that sentence. This is going to give us a little boost arena there over the mountain. Oh, God. Okay, I'm actually going to make myself sick in just a moment. We can make it. We cannot make it. Uh, okay, so you really got to do this in order. So we get a bonus. Okay, we didn't need that one anyway. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Thing is, the game is hard. Okay. I'm going to... Yeah. Probably you should just expect we're not going to get past this first level. But... You know, I'm, I'm going to still, tr it's, I'm going to try, you know, and that's, trying is important. It's like a participation trophy. You know, at least I'll be able to say that I tried and y'all were here for me trying. And that says something about your level of patience. Okay. That one's hard to get. Um, we've ran out of momentum. That last one, I swear to you, is is actually tough to get. Because the game, it's not that, you don't understand, okay? I say it all the time, you guys just don't understand. It's hard to play games when, you know, it might be a genre that you don't normally play and a game that you literally learned about, you know, eight seconds ago. And so, you know, stuff can be, stuff can be difficult. Here we go, here we go. Okay, we get the speed, oh it, yeah, it, that's what it was. It pushes you up. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa. Okay. Too high. Too high, Mr. Glider Plane. Okay. I don't think we're going to reach the rest of them now because here's, here's why this is actually tough. I know you're sitting at home going like, how do you miss these? Um, the thing is, is that when you hit these circles, your plane is pushed up and you have to actively fight to push your plane back down. And so every time I hit one of those, it's not just like, oh, speed boost. It's like, uh, actually your plane is really trying to go the direction that you actually kind of don't want it to go because you're trying to keep stable. You're trying to stay stable and like in line with these. And it keeps pushing you in directions that you really do not wish to go in. I wish it would just give you a speed boost. It would be so much easier if I could just have a speed boost or like choose a different level would also be not the worst thing in the world. Hopefully, you know, you're staying indoors, practicing a little social distancing, making sure that you're staying, you know, well. Hopefully you got to uh, actually buy groceries. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, it's again, I it's too high. 
Oh, Lord. Uh, yeah, our grocery stores had no bread, no eggs, no cheese. Um, absolutely no medicines of any kind. Uh, let's see. Frozen stuff, canned goods. Okay, well, is that problematic? Not actually the worst thing ever. Can I just beat this level? I would so like to just... No, 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 no. We're losing, losing altitude. Losing altitude! Got it. Do we just have to land there? Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Did it. Nailed it. Tried to use the shortcut. I got an achievement, I think, because I missed one. Are you out of your fucking mind? Absolutely not. Okay, well, as you can see, there are many levels that we will never ever reach because this game is very difficult and it's not your basic average flying game. Honestly, if they would, if they could just adjust it so your plane isn't pushed directly up while you're trying to fight it down, I would be so much happier with these controls. Let me do the controls. You know, let the plane automatically sink because that makes sense, but don't force my plane up because then I have to force it down and then I'm just fighting and it's just not a really great idea. Besides that, I don't have anything bad to say about it. It's a $5 game where you get to just kind of fly around and hit checkpoints and it's a little bit pilot wings and a little bit kind of zen if you just want something easy to, well, it's not easy, but if you just want something to do and you're kind of hanging out, you know? Perfect landing. Look at that. Undamaged plane. Anyway, let's move on to our last game. I'm real sorry about this. All right, last up. Game called Hike Jam. All one word. September 16th, 2019. Six user reviews. This game is currently $2. $2. Uh, listen, you know, I, I know they tell you not to judge a, a book by its cover, right? Um... I'm not gonna play the tutorial because this game about hiking. How hard could it possibly be? Oh, are we competing? I didn't realize it was competition. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Off to a great start. Off to a great start. Off to a stellar start. We're gonna be hiking in, in no time at all. Oh, we have a double jump. That would have been important. Okay, now we're now we're in it. Here we go. We're double double jump hiking. Okay, that's a that's a score screen. I don't know what just hit me. Maybe a bush. Oh, that dude died. We're doing better than that. We're in third place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're good. Happy Trails had an accident. It's a kind of sorry name, huh? Oh, okay. This trail has rock slides. This trail has rock slides. I fully understand how that guy died now. I'm going to just hike on the opposite side of this. What happened to me? Okay, listen. This game is great. I'm enjoying my hike. This is... This is so casual. Okay. Little tiny bit stuck here. We're going to get ourselves unstuck and up this in no time. There we go. How did that guy get a super boost? That's fucking bullshit. I've made it to the top. Oh, I'm in first place. Of course I am. I'm great at hiking. Okay. We're going to go back. Don't die. Don't die. Okay. There we go. There we go. Um, My guy does seem... Oh, is this like stamina boost or is this punch? Do I have any other buttons? Whatever. Just jump it. Yeah, this, okay. This hike has gotten a little bit. There's another rock slide. We survived. Okay, okay, okay. We just need to, I died. I think I, I yeah, so far, I mean, this is obviously my favorite game out of the bunch. So we died. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, probably should play the tutorial, but I don't want to do that. I'm gonna hike solo again. Maybe we'll do an easier, an easier uh, hike. Yeah, we'll do uh, Murren Grimmelwald. If you press your right analog stick. What? I have no idea what just happened. I have no idea why I just died. All right, well, I had a chainsaw before I died to some unknown hiking virus that instantly took my life. I don't want the chainsaw anymore because it's obviously not good to carry around with you. Okay, another rock slide, not a big deal. Just jump over them. Real life tips from a real life hiking enthusiast here. You just jump over the rocks and they cannot possibly hurt you. It's a myth that people die all the time to rock slides. They're not even dangerous. 
look at me right now. Do I look like I'm in danger? Do I look like I'm worried about... You know what? You know what? who probably has great hiking trails? Iceland. We're going to go to Landman Lager. Start. It's like a dash. Can we stand back up, please? Because we're losing now. Press it again. Yeah, yeah. Just keep doing this because this makes us go faster. And I'm not really sure why. I think this is kind of the only way to hike, personally. When we just moonwalk forward... Yeah, I don't know what this button does, but it is actually helping my hiking ability a lot. Okay, hold on. We're stuck on a... We're, that's fine. We're going to get back into first place. No problem. Watch this. What? There we go. There we go. Yeah, he's he's figuring it out. He starts to fall. There we go. We're going to pass this dude in the air. What? No, I can't really do it in the air. I don't know how these guys are still faster than us when we're using the teleport. There's a bear! Use the bear. Use, there's a bear. Use the, use the dash. Use the dash. Okay, we escaped the bear. Not even, not even worried about that one bit. Our guy is a little bit unhappy. Probably because we just ran from a bear would be my guess. Oh, there we go. It's... Okay, we are about to die. How are these other guys still alive? We died. Unknown reasoning. Let's go ahead and end the game there. Ah, uh, poo. You know, I really had a lot of hope for the drag. I really thought the dragon game was gonna be where it was at today. And it turns out that that was, that was an incorrect assumption. It was not uh, where it was at today. Um, I don't know what the tutorial is even gonna teach us besides like, press the right, right joystick to uh, do a weird moon glide across the terrain. Uh, maybe you're supposed to use items. This game is just bizarre and not really necessarily fun, which is the problem. But it looks like you can get a harpoon gun. I did not have a harpoon gun. I felt like I would have done much better with a harpoon gun. Uh, anyway, yeah, this is pretty much probably a pass on, on at least this one in the dragon game. That glider game, I really do see someone enjoying that. For five bucks or on a sale for like two and a half dollars, you know. I imagine it has enough challenge. If you really enjoy flight games, you might pick that up. But these other two are just not worth your time. Anyway, let's go ahead and wrap up. Okay, so that's it. That was your Lost on Steam whatever episode this is. Hopefully you guys uh, found, you know, the glider game enjoyable. Hopefully you found, I mean, let's be honest. Hopefully you found the entire video enjoyable. But if you're looking for a game to play, hopefully it's the glider one. Because the other two I really don't think are worth your time and effort. Uh, oh boy. That, that's, that's, that's pretty rough. Um, real quick, just, you know, before I wrap this up, my roommate is a nurse and she has currently patients in her hospital who have coronavirus. So, uh, my, you know, my clock is pretty much ticking on that one. I'm gonna get it. And so, you know, I'll let you guys know what happens. Obviously do a blog post every day, kind of videogram it, put some shit on Instagram, you know, kind of just, you know, no, I'm not going to do any of that. I'm probably going to be in bed, not doing anything for about a week. I'm just expecting that I will catch it soon, and I apologize for a lack of content. I'll try to make sure I have stuff recorded beforehand. As always, gotta thank my Patreons. If you're not in the Discord, you should be in the Discord. Even if you're not a Patreon, you should be in the Discord. There are people there talking games, getting together, playing stuff all the time. Discord is happening place. You should be there. You owe it to yourself to be there. You work too hard, honestly, not to be there. And when you're under quarantine, what the fuck else are you gonna do? So just, you know, join. There's a link below. And if you want to sign up for Patreon while you're at it, hey, you know, I'm not going to stop you, right? And until next time, thanks, everyone. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And until next time, burn bright, everybody.